Hello and welcome back to the last spell. We're at day eight. Um, and we've got three more days before the the boss of Lakeburg. Things are going very well, although this is our I think our first night where I'm gonna be a little bit worried. We've got a full ballistas. Uh we, we we've got 40 ballistas. Not all of them are upgraded, but that's all that's all right. And um we're pretty well equipped. I'm pretty happy with how things are looking right now. Uh, just to make sure, I just want to make sure that Paloma, yeah, Paloma, you've got everything you need. I'm very excited to see Paloma perform uh, with their new equipment. So let's see how things go. Don't panic. There's that one dude there. That's actually great for Carmen. Nice. Um, all right, let's uh, let's first of all see how Paloma does because I'm excited for that. Oh god, they're coming in over there Uh, I should have done a bit more over there. Uh, that's that's a little bit spicy Okay, hold on. Let's um Did I already move? I did. Let's move this way We oh man, these corpses are, are kind of in the way actually we could just do let's just do like a quick shot oh right i have um i can do six shots now we didn't kill anyone and that's actually great um what's our range on this the range is very similar so remember we've got we, we can do four of these and we get six shots normally and then we get two extra shots so long as we don't kill anyone um, so that's kind of incredible might just like set up some kills and then uh, I don't know we could spread some poison I, I guess we have um, patience for that we don't need to be spreading poison actually I really don't like his positioning right now Paloma's um, yeah that's that's awful we're gonna have to we should you know what let's just do another shot over here I guess what that's weird. He only got six shots with his normal attack. He should have gotten more than that Because he's got initiator right does oh, maybe oh, you know what quick shot probably only has two shots um, Like normally You know what I should have um, I should have tried to destroy this this stupid thing here this corpse pile is only gonna get in my way So uh, yeah, that that's a little bit of a bummer and we don't have transfer anymore. I don't think yeah, we don't have transfer. Okay, so yeah, th these corpse piles are gonna get in my way a lot. Let's just do let's just do this. And you know these these don't do a lot of damage, but they go through armor, um, and we can do we can do them a lot. So that's that's the good part, you know. And did we give him the uh, sorry give her the ballista thing? Yeah, so she's a human ballista. She's gonna uh, do some do some shots after the, the the enemy moves. So that I'm pretty sure that means that if they move up to her, then she can just automatically blow them away, which is really nice. That's really cool, actually. Um, we got one more of our normal attack. Let's go ahead and try and finish that guy off. Nope, still no. That's fine. Um, we could do like a blaze. This is this is a propagation effect. Sure, we could do that. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Um, does this propagate? No, but it does reduce movement, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, however, our range is not great on that, so uh, let's do it anyway. Just to just to try stuff, you know. I want to try stuff. So, um, patience, patience has got very good propagation abilities and, um, she's going to be able to do some, some good poison damage over here. I might just do like a double poisoning of these two lads. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, that's actually incredible. How much poison damage did I give her? 130%. That is actually incredible. 
Um, why don't we go ahead and just like entangle these guys? Yes, I know. I, I just found out that her poison is like actually good and now I'm not going to use it. No, I, I am going to use it. I just want to make sure that um, I'm, I'm kind of taking care of business. And uh, I want to slow these guys down enough so that our ballistas get another sh chance to hit them before uh, they reach anything important. I'm going to hit that guy as well. But yeah, that's, that in, that uh, poison is really nice. So we want to make sure it kind of like... Um, not... Uh, what's the word? Um, ration that throughout the night. Now, I am a little bit concerned for... Um, Car Carden? Carmen? I guess that one guy over there died, which makes sense because he was like the only one there. The stupid rock is going to block our way, but that's fine. We can move forward a little bit. She's um, not going to do anything just yet because we need to make sure that she gets her um, uh, independent. Well, I, f I forget the name of everything in this game. <laughs> um, isolation. Isolation. Okay. I guess what we could do is set start with a rain of arrows and the rain of arrows will actually do a great job of like separating a bunch of stuff and I don't she does have a bonus right now no she has a lone wolf bonus she doesn't have her isolation bonus yet so why don't we do this just to start things off and then maybe we can set some other stuff up um wouldn't mind doing like a ground smash hold on Yeah, why don't we do a ground smash like here? It's not super like optimal, but it sets up um, isolation pretty well. And uh, do we want to spend a track, a, a point for track? Yeah, I think we do. All right, that's one, two. Um, oh, the stupid lamppost. Oh my God, everything is in her way. This is like the worst side for Carmen. I wish I could destroy this thing. Indestructible. Actually says indestructible. God damn. All right. Well, fine. Um, we, I guess we can't hit this guy. Can we hit anyone else? No, not really. I don't want to hit this guy because it, it'll ruin her isolation. I don't know if, if someone is in the mist. Does that count? It probably does. Um, do we still have action points on this guy? We do. So let, I kind of want to try and stun this winged fellow. What, what they have 15% stun resistant. They sh that should be fine. Oh, we did not stun them. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and contagion the guy that did get stunned. Um, what's the range on that? Pretty good. We want to, we want to just set up contagion with some stuff. I'd like to stun those guys over there, or at least try to stun, but I don't think that, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, oh my god, is someone drilling? Why is someone always drilling nowadays? It seems like it's happening a lot. Okay, let's just do a lightning storm. Ugh, that killed everyone, okay. Well, tell you what, we're going to contagion that guy because he's got that uh, the resistance debuff. And I'll try and kill this winged fellow. Okay, um, and is there anything else that Carmen can do? Not really. Okay, who else is left? Natalie. Where is Natalie? Natalie's over here. Natalie hasn't done anything. Which is unfortunate because she's got tons of things that she can do. Let's come, bring her over here, and uh, I know she probably can't kill these or stun these s skelly sorcery lads, but that's fine. We'll we'll try it maybe anyway. Yeah, she actually accomplished it. Nice. And that guy is as good as dead. So they're both they're both pretty good as dead. Actually, does this one? I think they're fully poisoned. Yeah, 234 poison. I was kind of hoping we could, like... Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, keep them, like, there, and then when things crowd around them, maybe we can spread that resistance debuff. I'm all about that. 
I'm, I'm, I'm all, about, all about spreading my debuff, you know? Yeah, let's just end it there. There's there's things here still, but that's fine. Nice. Nice. Fine. That's totally fine. Okay, um, Carmen. Oh, there's such a good imp um, impaling bo bolt here. But there's, there's, it's not like there's not stuff to do, you know? Like, I wanna, I wanna get, let her take a shot at this guy. Except he's right behind this stupid lamppost. God, I hate this lamppost. Lamppost is so dumb. Well, she should be able to hit him now. No, still? Why? Oh my god, I have to like walk right past the lamppost in order to see anything. I hate this lamppost. Okay, she can hit him there. Um, she's not getting the full lone wolf bonus though. Which is fine, I suppose. Um, but we need to separate him from the rest of the group. Why don't we just like walk up here and do... Um... Well, actually, why don't we... We'll, uh... We'll do a weakening touch because he's got this guy's got some resistance as I understand it quite a lot of resistance So we want to lower that as much as we can and then we'll walk up and we'll do a big old stomp Mega stomp Nice and we did separate the the, the lad that's good We maybe we could do another one of those or just uh, actually uh, what I think we should probably do is like work towards um, separating more of these guys. Um, it's not great. I guess we can do this, but like I don't like it as much. I think I think Carmen's going to have uh, have enough to do actually. So we'll just have him do that and that's fine. And um, we're going to have to worry about that. I honestly think the ballistas will do good enough job over there. Okay. Um, let's do we'll, we'll set up track Nice single shot kill and Then we're gonna have to have her move up a little bit Kill that guy kill that guy and I want to do a heavy bolt on that guy Almost almost killed him with one shot Not quite I guess we could do um, Get her to take a potion, but is there like one more thing for her to do? Not really. I don't think it's worth it. I think they'll probably die to the ballista. Um, and we still have Dan who can do some stuff. Um, let's have uh, Dan maybe just like kill a couple of stuff. I don't know. Is it worth using a fireball? I guess it is. Tell you what, I'll have him kill this guy. Oh wow, I forgot how resistant those guys are. Oh, you know what? Let's let's see if we, we can take it out with a fireball still. No. Wow Incredible Okay, uh, that's fine We'll 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 deal with that later All right, so over here we're gonna be setting some stuff up with a crossbow Miss Why, why you got to be missing for? The crossbow, it's, it's interesting. It's really good against armored foes and then just like kind of dog god awful against everything else. She should be able to take out that guy for free. We can, oh, you know what? Can we, um, is this guy poisoned? Will he spread the poison? I'm still not sure if that if that's a thing like it is the poison count as a, a debuff I guess it does because we spread the poison pretty good um, She can't reach any of those guys, so we'll just have her kill these guys over here And that's fine and uh, actually patience is gonna be able to do some stuff. I'm not seeing anyone over there there probably is some people some some baddies, but that's fine. She's gonna be able to spread some poison to these 
these guys really nicely yeah look at that that's really nice let's just like go ahead and set that up again and now they're just gonna die from poison are we winning yeah i think we are i think we're winning uh we'll just move someone back over there um we should really have natalie kill something anything Um, can we stun that this guy here? That would be actually ideal. Oh, we killed him instead. Oops. Still trying to like make the most out of uh, some of our debuff stuff. I don't like what's going on over here, but I'm pretty sure the ballistas are going to take care of it. They keep coming. nice contagions are doing well spreading spreading some of those debuffs let's take care of this business over here because i i kind of don't like what's happening over here if i'm being honest um why don't we go ahead and do a couple of contagions like in, maybe in the back some to some of the stronger dudes and then um we're gonna go ahead and spread a weakening touch Might want to do, like, just another one of those. I know it's going to use up our whole turn, but I think it's worth it. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a Mega Stomp. We should have done our Contagion first. I guess I accidentally used her contagion instead of yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's do another mega stomp. I know we're not setting anything up for Carmen. Oh, wait, she can only do one mega stomp. I didn't know that. Or maybe I did and I forgot. So I guess in that's in that case, we can now set some stuff up for Carmen. We're just like hitting people diagonally. Oh, wow. She's stuck there now. <laughs> Um, so Carmen should be able to kill these two guys pretty easily. Actually, yeah, she's got uh, a, a few things she can shoot at. That guy, that guy, that guy. Um, we can have her move over here and do a heavy bolt on this guy. No? Oh, there's blockers. Uh, Carmen over here is, is just, like, not having a good time. Um... We could do like an explosive bolt, but like I, I really don't like hitting anything that's not going to add to her isolation because she can just like eventually nuke anything. I'll just uh, I'll hit that guy because that will add to her isolation. Can we if we could kill this guy actually? Oh, God, he just Dan is not good at not at, at killing things all right well we'll we'll have to figure it out back over here over here it's looking really nice uh let's first of all set up some poison there's a couple of good poison opportunities here there's a good one here nice um there's another good one over here Nice. Um, we could leave it at that. And then, whoops, didn't mean to do that. And we'll have Natalie actually do some stuff here because she's, she's not really getting a lot of action right now. There we go. Just have her kill some stuff. Like, we're at the point where busy, we're, we're handing out busy work for some of our characters. Let's just dedicate an entire crossbow to that guy. And wow, I'm glad I did, because it, it did take 10 or 6 shots. Uh, I'd like to be able to hit that other guy over there, because I don't like that he is alive. And 
And before we end things, why don't we go ahead and contagion that guy and that guy. Um, and we'll entangle them as well. And that way they'll slow down and uh, hopefully some zombies will catch up around them. I'm pretty happy with that. Paloma didn't really get to do as much as she'd like, but that's because she's just so good at her job, you know? Things are honestly going so well right now. Over here, I mean, it's a bit of a different conversation, but it's fine. It's honestly totally fine. Oh, we've got our first elite cursed. First time I've seen that one. Um, I like that he looks different. I like that the elite look different, you know, like they, they don't, they're not just like different colors. They're, they're, they're not just like kind of um, very lazy reskins. Wow. Look at how much health he has. That is a lot of health. Does he have armor? No armor. No point. He doesn't have any dodge as far as I know. 12% dodge. I mean, he's got a little bit. Um, well, that's fine. We have some, we finally have something for Natalie to do. Is he have like 50%, uh, 80% stun resistance. Okay. That sucks. That sucks a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to spread the poison as much as possible. Although, um, hopefully not to Natalie. Just want to make sure that this guy gets poisoned. Okay, that guy, that thing is dead. As good as dead, so we're good there. Uh, I just kind of want to, like, throw down, throw hands with this guy. My god, I, I sure hope that that drilling isn't coming in super well on the recording. Um, let's do a stomp, and that way we can maybe stun this guy. And we'll do an entangle as well. Oh, we're going to debuff Natalie. Let's not do that. Um, entangle this group. Just, uh, you know, we want to slow down this elite curse as much as possible. And we'll just hit, hit them as much as we can. And I won't lie, they're going to take a, take a, a, a few turns to kill. Um, let's, um, let's spread some more resistance debuff. Oh, I don't, I really don't like what's going on over here, actually. Now that I've given it a little bit of a... A look uh, and that was my only thing I could do this turn that's actually a huge problem um, all right Paloma Paloma should be over here honestly Jelenka I am I'm honestly kind of worried for Jelenka um, hammer strike it's just, uh, we have stun chance, I suppose. We could, like, try and spread stun chance. Not bad. Can we do uh, a nice, like, mega stomp? This guy's all around us, and yet... Wait, what? Was that guy on their own? Oh, wait, was that a follow-up? No, that was a mega stomp. That was a mega stomp. It did nothing. No, oh, it wasn't. It was a follow up. I accidentally hit follow up instead of mega stomp. Oh god, not the time to be making stupid mistakes like that. You know what? Let's um, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill whatever I can with isolation. We've got 44. I think 44 uh, extra damage is good enough to try and hit some guys with rain of arrows i know we're, we're gonna lose all of our damage but i i just don't see a better opportunity we'll use rain of arrows we lost 30 percent. that isn't all of it it's not all of it um was really hoping that i would have an obvious shot for someone else we'll kill him Okay, we pretty much lost our entire bonus. That's fine. We can build it up again. We can rebuild. Uh, why don't we take a potion? I don't know. Is it worth it? There's not really anything else for her to shoot at. Uh, 
Yeah, there's there's really no one else. So I don't like we can shoot at someone. I don't think does she lose? Yeah, she loses the bonus even if she doesn't kill the thing in question. So that's not good. Um, and then uh, Jelenka, what can we do for you? You you're not really in a good place, are you? Whoever has stun, we're just gonna go ahead and give that contagion to. I don't think that really like. It's not a not a great plan. Yeah, I'm not doing so well over here. I'm not doing what what I want to be doing. So there's that human ballista thing at work. Like, make no mistake. This, you know, I don't think we're gonna lose anything over here. All right. That guy over there spooks me a little bit, but he seems to only debuff. He doesn't really seem to do much damage of any, of any like real um, concern. Uh, now what I'd like to do is kind of kill, I want to kill these two lads. Mm, that was all I got. <laughs> That's all I, cause they keep debuffing him. All like all of his actions are just melted. Um, I don't know. I need to, I need to get her out of here. Let's just, can I kill these guys? And then, uh, Carmen actually has things she can shoot at. Okay, yeah. Nice. Um, she can kill this guy. Oh, she really, she needs to kill it. Otherwise, it, it it's a double blow to her buff. All right, you know what? We can't, we can't just like purely metagame um, the, uh, the, the isolation bonus. We have to actually at some point like decide to kill things. I will do, make no mistake. I'm going to try to meta, meta game it as much as possible, but you know, at a certain point you have to just like get your hands dirty and actually do some work. Okay, over here we're totally fine over here. Um, we could spread some poison onto this elite accursed. It doesn't seem to do very much, honestly. Let's just like hit him with everything. Because as long as I don't kill anything, it means I get more uh, multi hits. So I get to hit him six times in theory, as long as I don't miss. Every time I shoot at him. So uh, like it's going to take a lot of shots, but Paloma is going to be able to nuke this elite accursed. And he's actually poisoned to death now so what we can do is just like reserve the rest of our damage for other things nice uh that worked out well we could do another a blaze may as well i she hasn't like used any of her mana let's have uh we'll have natalie kill this thing cool There. Solid. Um, it's just patience. Patience didn't get to do anything. That's fine. Uh, did we spread our contagion as much as we could? Not really. Oh, there's a blocker right there and it's it's creating a problem. Okay. End turn. These guys are probably going to die to the ballista. God. Okay, that's fine. Um, I mean, uh, Carmen will be able to do some good stuff now. There you go. I mean, it's it's something. I'm still not used to a melee weapon needing, like, space. 
There you go. So that, I'm pretty sure that was S. I don't think that, I, I think, you know, we, I don't even think anyone took any damage. Jalenka's still not leveling up. I'm not really happy about that. I mean, a lot of people aren't. Paloma is though, because she's getting all of the ex bonus XP from uh, Ballista kills. So it's like a guaranteed level up for her. You should try this out. Nothing is better than homemade stuff. You should try this out. Okay, fine. We'll try that out. We'll try we'll try stuff out, okay? Um I think we need uh, we don't need gold as much as we need materials. Like you know, we're we're very comfortable right now, but um salvage two items. I'd like to get the materials from some of these big piles. I don't care as much about the items. And this, I'd like to get the, the full material benefit from at least... Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to do all of them, to be honest. Because we've got them. We may as well. Um, but I do want to do Guess Where and maybe Repel Mist. Wow, that repels the mist. Well, I was thinking it was going to repel the mist like much farther back, but no, it didn't. That's fine. Um, so we have three workers left. We could do one more worker for each scavenger camp and then get a little bit of extra gold. Does anyone need anything? Do we need to spend workers on mana? I don't think so. Maybe? No, I, I really don't think so. People basically didn't use any mana. They didn't need to. <laughs> Um, we could, uh, let, well, let's look at our boyer. We can spend some gold to upgrade our, our boyer. I, I guess I've, uh, settled on boyer, even though it's probably the dumbest way I could say that. Let's get some of our items. Uh, move points, dodge, momentum. Not good for anyone. Druidic staff. Well, that's a, probably a dr better druidic staff for patience. So that's actually really nice. Extra armor, extra critical power. Druidic staff seems good. Armor. Um, light armor. Better light armor. Yeah, better light armor. We can reroll these. I don't have to settle with whatever they give me. In fact, I might do that here because I'm not a. This is our boyer. I want to. Give me. Please give me a. Uh, damn it. J damn it. <laughs> I, I, I want a uh, crossbow. We need a crossbow for Carmen. I, uh, I, I decided not to take that one crossbow that one time. And uh, it's really going to bite me in the ass for, till the, for the rest of the game, isn't it? Slightly. Steel hammer. Uh, I think this is maybe better for um, Natalie. What does Natalie got right now? Just a hammer. This thing does more damage, has better stun. Yeah, this thing is amazing. Take that. Uh, we could spend a worker trying to get like rolling again, and then we could uh, also improve the item chance on that. Kind of tempted. What's the? Oh, it takes two workers unless we upgrade it. So why don't we go ahead and upgrade it? And if we're gonna upgrade it, wait, what is this? Oh, we can upgrade it to have two uses. Uh, I'd rather just upgrade the item level once and then I am gonna spend one worker on it Because I really want a nice What is that steel crossbow? Ah, that is the one that would be that look at that thing. I Actually don't think it's like amazing. I Think its stats are kind of not great Like it does more damage and I will be taking it but I uh, I just kind of it is doing like almost more than a hundred more damage per shot. So make no mistake. It is better um, I'm, I'm just a little bit picky, you know, like I like I like them stats to to be really beefy And also synergize with the character. Well, okay patience you get a much better druidic staff. Look at that thing Look at look at what you were using You have something so much better now you're already doing like very good work with that poison. 
Um, Carmen did level up. Improve your damage. Resistance reduction? Nah, damage. Accuracy isn't a bad idea. I'll, I'll do accuracy if I get the chance. Propagation, opportunism. Opportunism isn't a bad idea. I like opportunism. I'm going to reroll these though. <laughs> Daily health regen. Does she benefit from that? I know someone does. Someone benefits from health regen. I don't know who it is. Who is it? <laughs> Mana regen. One by one. Uh, None of this is, is very interesting. Kind of want to reroll. Eh. All right, I'll take mana help. No, it's so dumb. It's dumb. These are dumb too, but I'll, reliability is at least something. It's something. Every five critical hits landed more critical power. She doesn't, she's not really a crit happy person. Um, when attacking with a mana consuming item, I don't like that. Every four tiles traveled. Uh, the next attack gets plus 15% physical damage. No. Mana spent. She doesn't really spend mana. Less reliability for more skill range. I don't know if I care for that either. Every two mana spent, get three block. Not, not a lot of these are very good. We could go for dodge. I, her dodge is 11%, so like 25% dodge isn't terrible. Um, when attacking isolated unit, the attack gets more reliability. There we go. There's, there's something. Oh, more critical on first blood. This, uh, this tree is actually pretty good for her. We could make her crit ha happy. Every three isolated units killed. Restore one action point. Oh my God. Her next level is going to be so good. Um, now Paloma. Paloma, more accuracy. That's tempting. Yeah, sure. More accuracy. Why not? Reliability, I don't know if that matters as much for you, but we'll take it. Wow, actually, your reliability is really good. And we give you a perk. What perk do we give you? Any negative alteration applied by the hero has an increased duration. Isolation is increased by 100% of the hero's accuracy. What is your... 17% uh, accuracy, so plus 17% isolation. It's interesting, but I don't know if it's the best for her. Don't panic. Adrenaline rush whenever the hero dodges. What's your dodge? 18%. Not terrible. Fifth turn of the night is reached. Plus two action points. Plus three movement points. Or more propagation. Propagation isn't terrible for her. Inertia. I I don't know. Kind of want to give her something like overlord, o overload, and then she'll have some potions, some extra use items, maybe. Accuracy. Potions now have a range of fifteen tiles. Let's give her a bag equipment slot. I know that's super lame. The only other thing is like hex, maybe. I guess exploit weakness isn't terrible for her because, you know, it's plus 17 isolation is something. And we could increase her accuracy maybe later. And then patience. Patience, what can we do for you, patience? Human, we could turn her also into a human ballista. Um, propagation now. Yeah, we, we want to give you more propagation. We want to get that poison up as much as possible. I'd kind of like to reroll with the chance of getting more poison, but I don't know. Maybe it's a, a secondary attribute. We'll give her more damage. Propagation bounces. It's the only thing it would take over poison damage. So that's really good. Um, okay, so things are pretty good. We have two workers still. We could get some more materials if we wanted. Um, can we get buy another hero? No, we can't. We could buy some items. 
Why don't we upgrade this shop and that way we can sell some of our stuff? It costs almost a hundred to do that. So I, I'm pretty sure that's only barely going to pay for itself. But I think it will pay for itself. Um, profit loincloth <laughs> armor move points action points. Oh, that's a really nice armor piece giving extra action points is like just absurdly nice um wow oh this is a lot of the stuff we we just sold death ray scroll we could give that to someone we've got a lot of people with like movement or not movement sorry propagation and uh, multi-hit extra block extra magic damage reliability novice magic orb potions uh i think we're gonna we're gonna reroll this um actually i'll buy this leather cap because it's got the dodge and damage and we can give that to um paloma reinforced light armor extra armor accuracy critical dodge healing received opportunism that's gonna be good for someone for sure extra armor physical damage mana less move points who this would be good for someone i'm not sure who um I, I think uh i think uh what's his whoever's using the book already has a, like a really good book so we don't need to do that throwing dagger scroll poison damage um we could give this to patients that's gonna be great for patients extra isolation extra armor this is amazing for someone we a, a lot of people have uh have got isolation but i think that um well I, I think carmen's already got a pretty good boot let's look at carmen real quick carmen's got plus 16 percent isolation armor and experience gain so yeah she doesn't need that um maybe we give it to not dan but um jelenka jelenka is not doing great she hasn't leveled up and i think in two nights so yeah, we'll give her these, these boots. They, they'll get, oh wait, that's isolation. Yeah, actually that's not as good for her. What about the, this movement action points? Don't lie, I kind of want to give that to, to Carmen. Carmen's got pretty good uh, armor. Um. Yeah, this is actually much better for her extra move points and action points would be great for her uh reliability n n it doesn't give any isolation but she's not losing any isolation and that poison the these uh these greaves would be great on um patients because it's going to improve her her poison damage perfect now who who needs this who needs some better armor here healing received opportunism um i think jelenka I think this is going to be good for Jelenka. Uh, the leather cap. Who needs that? I know someone gained something from... Uh, I think it's actually Paloma. Paloma gains isolation from accuracy? I thought it was dodge value. Well, whatever. Someone has something to do with Dodge Valley. I'm not sure what. Or maybe that was an, uh, something I could have taken and I didn't. Uh, all right, so we spent pretty much all of our gold. Um, everyone's at full health, so there's really no point in using our inn at all, but sure. Does anyone need even a, a, a little top up? No top up? Everyone's at full health. No point. Okay, um, we still have two workers left. I still kind of want to get more materials. I know it's, it's just like stupid. It's just stupid and greedy and, uh, like vain. It's all of the bad words, you know? Kind of want to get a catapult as long as we're out of, uh, ballista growth, you know? 
which speaking of which let's let's go ahead and upgrade everything actually let's upgrade whatever we can upgrade on the walls that are getting hit the hardest let's like if it, as long as we're going to be stupid let's be stupid in a smart way you know that one's fine 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 uh fine 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 okay so actually a lot of uh ballistas are already upgraded so you know what comes next right right uh we're gonna start mounting those ballistas we may as well and the way i'm gonna do this actually can i'm not sure if uh can people move through ballistas i kind of hope they can because um things are going to be really annoying if they can't i'm just thinking the first thing we want to do is like build just plan our gates out first so like we'll put a gate there um there there and then i'm going to upgrade those ballistas first we'll put i guess we can upgrade this gate because i actually planned like ridiculously ahead you can put one here um i wish you could upgrade walls into gates i wish that uh, uh the devs had um had a little bit of foresight on that um because like it, it sucks having to just like destroy something to replace it with a gate and um i'm gonna have to destroy these unfortunately and we're gonna replace them with sorry uh with with uh, steel gates or iron gates i guess oh is that the maximum number of gates we can have 12 of 12 interesting i didn't realize that there was a limit All right, you know what? Why don't we remove this one? And then we'll put it over there instead. There's pro I probably don't need this many gates. But I really don't want to leave this side over here uh, uh, undefended. And now before we do anything else, I want to um, mount the ones that are currently being blocked by gates. I understand that the ones around it are, are going to be a little bit blocked, but they're not as bad. And in fact, they're, you know, it, it, it's so negligible. Unless something like walks right up, it's not going to matter. Um, I think we're pretty much good. So, uh, you know, next, like, next what we want to do is plan out a little bit of wallage. So I guess what we could do is like upgrade a couple more ballistas and you want to upgrade them probably before or I do. This is a me thing. I want to upgrade them before I build walls. Otherwise, I will just straight up forget. I'll just straight up forget. And then we build some stone walls. wherever there is mounted ballistas. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, things are, you know, we've set things up. Everything's fully upgraded. Uh, we could throw down some traps. Honestly, the last couple of nights, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be building traps because that's all I can do. Um, I could like really bolster our walls, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much uh, And then maybe set some towers up for people like Carmen um, Carmen is gonna be here because um, this night sucked for her I Kind of wouldn't mind setting like throwing down Jelenka over here But like I, I really don't know I need I probably need to have three here. I need to have someone here 
Maybe I could do just like patience. Patience didn't probably didn't get to do as much as she would have liked. So we have patience like here. And then we'll have um I still think I think Paloma and Carmen work really well together. So I'm gonna stick Paloma here. Oh, uh, you know what? Paloma doesn't have very good range. I'll I'll stick him here. Nah, nah. You know what? We're gonna put him here. And the reason being is this is yeah, this is the wall that's gonna get hit the hardest. So he's gonna pick off people so that Carmen can get her isolation up. Um, we'll put patience here on her own. She's getting kind of promoted. More responsibilities. And then we're going to put Dan, Natalie, and Jelenka all over here. And I'm basically like Dan is going to be spreading. Um, I'm going to be spreading that resistance debuff. Uh, Natalie has contagion and so does Jelenka and I guess so does Dan these guys the, the, these are all the um, debuff masters so having them all together isn't a terrible idea and then we're just going to kind of gauge how things go and I think that that's going to work out well hopefully um, I wouldn't mind having some more traps here actually can we at the very least can we renew some of our traps Oh, some walls got destroyed. All right, we can at least repair that trap. What we got one trap, yeah. Um, all right, so we should have enough. Oh, it's it's. I guess it's a. We're at the end there. Hmm. Do I want to do another night? I I like this. Um, I think that this is a pretty good way of doing things. Is like start with the combat and then do our production phase. Because I'm pretty sure there are going to be people who are interested in the combat, but maybe not as interested in the production phase, and vice versa. So the people who are interested in the combat can just skip the end of the episode. So I don't like starting an episode with production. Um, so I'll end it here. If you're enjoying the uh, series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.